War of the Worlds Survival is an early access Roblox game made around early March 2023 by a group of devs that is called War of the Worlds. There's four teams in the game, civilian, military, aristocrats and the Martians. This all takes place in some unnamed US state, filled with flatlands, a couple of settlements, and a military base. There are a set of rules in the game that all players must follow. If they don't follow these rules it'll affect other players' experiences and will be punished accordingly to the rule the player may be breaking. There is a way to appeal these punishments by going to their Discord server and making an appeal ticket, except exploiting which is the least likely thing that you'll be able to appeal from. Currently, War of the Worlds Survival doesn't have any game mode or main game objectives, so players are free to do whatever they want as long as it doesn't break the rules. With the game currently having no ending, win state, players can set their own objectives, either individually or as a team. The civilian team. Civilians is the first team that many will play as in the game. They will spawn in small settlements, and will be unarmed and only equipped with a flashlight and a block cola that'll keep their hunger away. There aren't any set objectives for any of the teams, but here is what civilians can do for themselves in the game. 1. Evacuate from their place therein, preferably far away from the battlefield and any Martian machines near their spawn. 2. Cooperate with other civilians and military personnel to avoid unnecessary contact with a tripod. 3. Don't die from hunger and survive. The military team. The military team can be unlocked with 500 to 1000 XP. They are more equipped to deal with a Martian threat but they will not be able to take a tripod down by themselves. The military might have small firearms, automatic rifles, rocket launchers and tanks, but they're dealing with an extraterrestrial force that is much more advanced than them. Things the military team can do in the game. 1. Combat the Martian invasion force. 2. Evacuate civilians from settlements. 3. Cooperate as a team to destroy or slow down a Martian invasion. The Aristocrats. The Aristocrats are a mysterious force in the game but they're definitely on the side of humanity. It's never disclosed what purpose the aristocrats serve for the game, but they largely assist the military team as a specialized force that are Too properly low, equipped terrain. to handle the march. The aristocrats can do the following in game. 1. Assisting the military in combating the Martian invasion. 2. Assisting with civilian evacuations. 3. Destroy the Martian force with the least amount of casualties as possible. The Martian Team The Martians are the enemy team for all three other teams in the game to fight against. The Martians are a force to be reckoned with as even a whole military team can struggle in handling a few fighting machines. There's two different types of tripod machines. Destroyer or fighting machine, the bulk that makes up most of the Martian invasion force, equipped with heat rays that can eviscerate any human into steam mist, and a force field shield that surrounds the entire machine, absorbing any projectile fired from all military weapons. Here's how you can identify the destroyers. Uberpods or Warriors. They have far better range that they can fire at targets in longer distances. They could take down helicopters if the heat rays are properly aimed, and a more superior shield that provides even more protection than the destroyer shield. The warriors are the biggest threat to the military team as fighting one is a tedious battle let alone a couple warriors would halt all of the military's efforts in doing their objectives. Here's how you can identify the Uberpods or warriors. The military would go into combat immediately, fighting any tripod nearing a settlement with the military themselves. Civilians can only rely on military transport for evacuation, so the military personnel that spawn in these settlements can help defending the settlements while waiting for evacuation from those in the military base. Military personnel can travel with an Abrams tank, but they can also fly with a Black Hawk helicopter which is the fastest transport in the game. The Martians will always be in combat whenever they're near a settlement or near the military base. This is because the current map being so empty, anyone can easily
easily spot a Martian from miles away. Now, on with the montage. The game is still in early access and the developing team is small, but I'm just letting everyone know that updates are still being made, especially the much needed additions to the map like more buildings. The military base is being worked on and we should be getting it soon and other things such as new animations. Special shout out to Axism and the wonderful developing team as well the community and the staff members moderating both the game and the Discord server, keeping the game and community in check. If you'd like to check out both their Roblox group and Discord server, I'll leave a link in the video description. Special thanks for GD Sainoi for providing the screenshot for this video's thumbnail. You can check his other screenshots in the community Discord server and let him know that his screenshots are awesome sauce. And, thank you for watching this video as it is the first time I have ever made something like this, and I appreciate you for sticking to the end of this video. For now, goodbye, and I love you, take care of yourself.